Is the elite player performance plan a good idea in your opinion, Pete? Um, for the bigger clubs, obviously, yes. For the smaller clubs, probably, I've got some reservations. Uh, for the generation of football, more money put into youth development, I think, is a good idea. Um, getting more talented youngsters going through better programmes with better coaches is a good idea. However, there is some smaller clubs who I do feel that have got the resources, have got the coaches to sort of push through down that path. So it's sort of, yes, it's a good idea, but with some reservations in, in, in my my thoughts. Six, really, yeah. six or one, half a dozen. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Um, so you think it could have a bit of a negative impact on the teams in the lower leagues with less financial backing? Yeah, the less financial backing, you, you've got sort of, well, you've, the compensation packages are going to be a massive problem for the lower league clubs. In will they, is it worth them doing it in some respects? You've got the, the higher clubs who, who've got the money who can put the one mil, one million, two million pound a year in that they need to. But if you look at the categories, you can't see many lower league clubs uh, being category C or D, which would be 16 to 18, and that'd be it. Do you feel that fast tracking these young players into the top leagues will bring short term and long term success? Um, fast tracking them in, I think they've got to go, kids develop at different stages, and um, you'll see some of the September birthdays that all fast tracking is not a problem for them because they're more physically developed. But some of the July, August birthdays, I feel they might try and fast track them, they may get left by the wayside because of. They're not as physically developed. Uh, there is nine months, eight months between them and players in their team. So I feel they might, in some instances, get left or pushed to the side um, because of that problem. Yeah. Um, Spain have obviously been praised for their youth set up as of mm. Germany and Holland. Do you feel this move could bring back some of the good old days for English football? I hope so. I hope so. With the, I know we've got the, the player performance pathway and we've got also got the, hopefully in May, the change to all youth football as well to sort of bring us in line with the rest of Europe. So things like going to 9v9 for under 11s, 12s and 13s being mandatory and not playing 11v11s or 14s. So I think that's going to help us a little bit more because there's only us, Belgium, New Zealand, Australia that have uh, play 11v11 at the age groups we do. Mostly Germany's, your Spain's, they don't play 11v11 until they're under 14s. So there's got to be some correlation with Spain, Germany having good, good players at them age groups. So I think with the player performance pathway and with the new rejig of all the, the youth football, I think it will be, we'll see better benefits from that. I think. Yeah. Um, do you think the gap between Premier League clubs and the lower division sides will increase with this initiative? Um, definitely, definitely, it, it's got to. Um, you look at the club that I'm involved in at Oldham, where 11 out of the 24 pro was a youth team products, so we're not spending money on bringing them lads in. Um, so the, in some cases it might be the rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poorer. Um, however, I do see that um, Premier League clubs will probably look at going and using first division clubs, second division clubs as feeder teams and breeding some of their young talent. So. I think that's the way it will go. I don't think it's the right way, but I think that's the way that you'll see in the next in the next few years. Um, do you feel the motives behind the plan are entirely football related, or do you think there's a financial factor there as well? I think there's a there's a massive financial factor. So if you look, for instance, nine to twelve year old, there's no compensation package. So for instance, Oldham again, if they were to run a nine to twelve program and one of the Premier League clubs wanted one of their players. The no compensation for the training, the the venue costs, and the the whole thing put into that player if he was wanted to go to that club. Then you get to the 13 to 16s where the compensation package is 26,000 pound, and let's be honest, 26,000 pound for a player that's been maybe came in at 13s and gone out at 16s is not a lot of money for a, for a lower league club who probably prides itself on selling its best assets on to survive. So I think there's a there's a massive financial factor. So if you look, for instance, nine to twelve year old, there's no compensation package. So for instance, Oldham again, if they were to run a nine to twelve program and one of the Premier League clubs wanted one of their players, there'd be no compensation for the training, the the venue costs, and the the whole thing put into that player if he was wanted to go to that club. Then you get to the thirteen to sixteens where the compensation package is twenty six thousand pound. 
and let's be honest, twenty six thousand pounds for a player that's been maybe came in at thirteens and gone out at sixteens. He's not a lot of money for a, for a lower league club who probably prize itself on selling its best assets on to survive. So I think it is mainly financially. It is a big financial problem. Um, if you look at it, the the, the clubs get two two hundred thousand pound a year off the Premier League to run their youth system. And the, the Premier League clubs have already said, well, if you don't go with it down this route, then we'll take two hundred thousand pound away from you. So, whether it's I'm being sceptical or not, I think there is a massive issue in the fact that. The lower league clubs have had to sign up to it because they need the money. And finally, mate, do you see the elite player performance plan generally as a threat or an opportunity? It's a, it's a great opportunity for the, for the higher end and the elite players because we'll probably produce better international players with better coaching for the younger age group, more facilities, better environment for them to learn in like they have abroad. So it's better for the top end. I still think it's a threat to the to lower league sides who maybe don't have that opportunity to um, run the youth system. They were fishing off the bits of the, of the Premier League clubs. I do think, though, that the, a lot of the Premier League clubs will hook up with lower league clubs and, and use them as sort of a development for, the, for their younger players, which will, in one respect, help the lower league clubs in the short term, but probably not in the long term. So I can see why they're doing it, to make better international players at the elite end. However, I still have... Few reservations with the um, the, the lower league clubs. And